Well, it's been years in the making, and today Red Bee officially opened its new community center. Uh, Josh Peterson was there and shows us how the community came together to celebrate its new addition. Before the official ribbon cutting ceremony was to begin, last minute finishing touches were made to the outside of the new Red Bee Community Center. For the town of Red Bee, the community center was a must after the old center fell into disrepair, marking a new beginning for the community. I think the other one was done in the early, late 60s probably. Okay. And this has been a new one and Everybody in the community is all excited about it. With a giant scissors, the ribbon was cut, and the community of Redby now officially had a place to call home for countless events and activities. The space features meeting rooms and a large kitchen, as well as a large gym that can be used for everything from basketball to hosting a community meal. For the architect, it was a labor of love. I think engaging the community and uh, finding out what their needs are and how uh, we translate their wants and needs into a reality and seeing it from uh, scratch to a finished product and the day of occupancy and days like today are always exciting. The celebration continued with a blessing, speeches from honored guests, food and music. All to celebrate this special occasion. But this facility would not have been possible without the long-standing partnership of the Minwatkinton Sioux Tribe from Shakopee. The Shakopee Tribe uh, funded half of this building, so uh, it's grant funding, and so um, although we may have been able to build it, it really helped us from a debt management standpoint. Even though the center officially opened today, there is still more work to be done, adding artwork to the exterior, a playground, and landscaping creating a space that will evolve over time. In Red Bee, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. Red Bee's community center is the third center to open. So far, the fourth center is being built and will be located in the city of Red Lake. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.